Six years ago, LeBron James lost the NBA Finals to the San Antonio Spurs. Three years ago, he faced scrutiny for his public decision to take his talents to South Beach. And two years ago, he collapsed under the pressure and fell just short of his first NBA championship. But today, he's an NBA champion for the second straight year. In an NBA Finals that we remembered as one of the greatest of all time, LeBron James shined, playing like one of the greatest of all time. His performance rightfully earned him his second NBA Finals MVP, and King James and the Big Three now have two of the seven NBA championships they promised to the city of Miami when they made the decision to team up in South Beach. But now that the season is over, the city of Miami has their own decision to make on whether to keep the Big Three together or divide them up and get more pieces for LeBron James. Our Rachel Nichols sat down with LeBron James to discuss the past, present, and future of the Miami Heat organization. All right, we're getting set for a monster Monday. I'm Kevin Kelly, and this is Sports Talk. The week gets kicked off today with the opening round of Wimbledon. All eyes will be on defending champs Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova as the world watches, hoping those two get to meet on the grass after an off-the-court feud. And the cup will be in Boston tonight, but will the Blackhawks take it home as NHL champions, or will the Bruins force a Game 7? We'll have the latest on the Aaron Hernandez saga, and Tim Tebow joins us and tells us what he thinks of the drama surrounding his former college roommate and the doctors in. Doc Rivers named a new head coach for the Clippers. We'll have Chris Paul in to talk about the arrival of his new coach. And the Blue Jays flying high as they win their 11th straight game, and they're still awaiting the return of Jose Reyes. The drama surrounding Aaron Hernandez continues as police continue to search the wooded area behind the home of the Patriots' tight end. Two officers also arrived in wetsuits and searched the pond behind Hernandez's home. Hernandez has been identified as a suspect following the death of his associate, Odin Lloyd. State police officers obtained a search warrant to enter Hernandez's home after the Pro Bowler destroyed his cell phone, security system, and hired a crew to come in and clean his home. Hernandez faces a possible obstruction of justice charge after police learned of his suspicious activity. The saga occurred following a lawsuit filed by a man in Florida who claims to have been shot in the face by Hernandez. Our Bob Holtzman is outside Aaron's home in Attleboro, Massachusetts with the latest on this developing story. It is still unknown whether or not Aaron Hernandez will be taken into custody, but our team of reporters will keep us updated as the latest events surrounding Hernandez unfold. Joining me later, Eric Mangini will be sitting down to talk to us on where the Patriots go scheme-wise from here if they lose both tight ends. I'm Kevin Kelly here at the United Center, where the celebration has only just begun. After a wild finish where the Blackhawks scored two goals in the last minute, the Chicago Blackhawks returned to the Windy City as Stanley Cup champions. Patrick Kane took home the Conn Smythe Trophy as the Cup's MVP. We sat down with the Blackhawks players and discussed his feelings after winning his second cup in the last four years. 